Ashley was going to skip this this morning because I'm getting sick of it telling me not in ketosis. Not in ketosis. I just don't get it. So, we all know that was 0 0.01. Really bad. We know when I take ibuprofen, I get kicked. Unless I exercise like crazy. My blood sugar is 98. Really bad. So maybe it's the ibuprofen. Maybe it's the stress like everyone said. The emotional stress. Um, I don't know. My blood sugar went to 160 for no reason yesterday. During the day as well. Welcome to my channel, Bad to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I have lost 205 pounds on a ketogenic journey. Um, so if you're new to my channel and you want to see me continue to lose that rest of this weight plus the water weight I have put on, think about hitting subscribe. I upload almost daily. Um, you saw just now my glucose and ketones. So last week, I don't remember what day, what's today, Monday, I think it was Wednesday, I'm not sure, I'm going to have to go back and look, I um, got really sick to my stomach and ate a bunch of crackers, like insane amount of crackers, because I was really sick and didn't want to throw up everywhere. Well, I went up like two and a half pounds from water weight, that was the, you know, obvious. I was kicked out of ketosis, obvious. I started to go back down in weight and I started to go back into ketosis, like get closer to being back in it the next day. Then some emotional stress happened. Um, and here I am, Monday. Still not back in ketosis. Up on the scale, I am also taking ibuprofen around the clock, 800 milligrams. If you're not new to my channel, you will know that I discovered last year from September to um, March or something is when I figured it out. I was stalled, couldn't really go down in weight at all because of that ibuprofen. I have learned if I take one ibuprofen, I need to heavily work out, like pour sweat, for about an hour. If I take two, it's two hours. Or the scale is not going to move downwards, it might go up because a water weight. I do not pee very well on ibuprofen. The doctor says my kidneys are fine, but it is a common side effect for people who take high doses. The little valve to your kidney or whatever kind of shrinks and it doesn't work as much as it normally would. So you don't release the fluid. Um, so yeah, the, and, and it kicks me. It literally kicks me. It will kick me every time and I will not be in ketosis and it does raise my blood sugar and it raises my blood pressure. It does not do this to everyone, but it is a side effect for me. Unfortunately, it's the only pain medicine I can have. This is the time of year that my fibromyalgia is out of control. It is a billion times better during keto, but it is still out of control. My migraines get out of control at this time of the year. They are better on keto, but it is still a migraine and I cannot function with them. So I take them. I have not taken one today. I did not get on the scale this morning because I am really tired of seeing the devil number on my scale. Literally, it doesn't want to move. Okay, it is on the devil number. So I'm like, we're not getting on the scale. Probably until next Monday. We're going to ignore the number on the scale because I am in my jeans just fine. My face looks a little swollen to me a tiny bit. Um, but it, even though I am, as of yesterday, three pounds up and my numbers are going crazy, my blood sugar even went to 160 yesterday for no reason, um, which is probably the ibuprofen and the stress. I do have an adrenal gland cortisol issue that when I get stressed or very upset, it just starts flooding my body and it makes me really sick and it makes my blood sugar go up. And let me tell you, as soon as my blood sugar got into the hundreds, I started to feel sick. At 160, I thought I was dying. I was dizzy, almost throwing up everywhere because my blood sugar is used to being between 
60 and 90 at the highest. Like, I don't feel good in the 90s. I prefer the 80s or less. So, um, I knew it, and I was so sick. So sick. But we did get a lot done. My daughter did not end up whining as I thought she would, bringing it out into the living room, getting it out of that room where she doesn't have to smell whatever the funky smell is. Like, it's not a dirty sock smell. It's, it really, to me, smells like formaldehyde, which I took the containers that were, you know, made a press board and I sealed them up in big giant yard trash bags. I'm gonna freeze them. I own the same ones in other rooms and they don't smell, but hers has the formaldehyde smell really bad. So I think that's where the formaldehyde smell was coming from, but we have them closed up. Um, and then if the room gets hot, it has the old, the moldy must smell that you get in the dirt if you stir the dirt up. Not a stinky wet dirt smell that smells like poop, but the mold smell, that is coming from her room. So I'm wondering when the girls felt a two liter of Mountain Dew and didn't tell me right away uh, a year ago if something happened underneath the carpet. However, I thought the smell's been there two years. My mom had to remind me that I've lost track of time because it's only been there since I was gone last summer. Um, and see, they had spilled that spill late. No, it was. Oh, yeah, it was. They spilled it like in May time frame in there. And then I was gone during the summer and the room got hot because I turned the air off. Well, I turned it to come on around 85. And so maybe it's from that. Maybe I'm going to have to rip the carpet up. I don't know. Almost everything's out of there. She's got some pictures on the wall and a few more boxes that we need to go through. And once everything is out, I'm going to leave it alone for a day or so with the door shut. If it still smells bad, I'm going to breeze the crap out of it. Still smells bad. Goodbye carpet. And there's tons of of nails underneath the carpet that they did not nail down. So my butt will be going around nailing down millions of nails flat. And then if that doesn't work, because I don't want to put more carpet in there because most carpets come with latex. This was a special carpet that didn't because most is intertwined with latex. And it's very expensive to get the kind who doesn't. I pay like a thousand dollars for this little bit of carpet. Um, so my butt will be having to put some plywood down, make everything even if I can't get those nails properly, um, bit back over and hammer back in correctly, because you know, they were stupid when they put down carpet, they get lazy and they don't fix the floor correctly. Um, and then I will be going and getting the sticky towels or something and re the whole space over the boards or something like that, we will see. I'm hoping I don't have to do it. I know, not keto, right? But this is my life, I'm stressed. Okay, my stress levels are crazy. My glucose is crazy. I haven't worked out since last Tuesday because I was sick. And then being kicked out of ketosis makes me very sick and dizzy. Like, I am so lightheaded all the time being kicked out of ketosis. And that is causing me problems. Check out my little, I got these, a Hot Topic. They're supposed to be nickel free. We're going to see if I have a allergic reaction. They're pink cherries. I know, totally not keto. I don't care today. And then, and then I got this because, you know, you buy two juries there, you always get a third free. And this is considered jury. So I got me, I love these things. And look, <gasps> Nightmare Before Christmas. This is usually, I usually have this color hair, you know, my crazy orange red hair for Halloween, but I'm not going to have it this year. Also, my daughter, we finally found her costume from a couple years ago. Um, it was... Sarah from Hocus Pocus. So yeah, I, I'm so my seven days of Halloween. Do not miss my seven days of Halloween. I'm gonna dress up for seven straight days of Halloween. I still don't know if I get to go somewhere for Halloween or not, or if I have to stay home and be with my daughter. She's wishy-washy on that one. I have a feeling I'm gonna be stuck here. And take her, I guess, driving. So she's like 15. There's nowhere we can really go because we can't eat in restaurants and stuff. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, I got that one planned. I think I'm doing uh, a grease one. Um, we got some, 
I have some others and I can't like I really really want to be Red Riding Hood and I own the cape already I did find the red long cape that I own the problem with it is I really can't afford to put that $34 out for a costume for one night because <sighs> that's how much it costs the cheapest I found is Amazon and that is the cheapest one I have found and then you have to buy the little black petticoat thingy that goes with it so it really equals like 40 something dollars and I'm like you might have to redo the floor of that room I already have to buy paint to do the walls um so yeah that just I might have to skip red riding hood again I was gonna do it last year but I didn't lose enough weight to do it last year so what was I last year? Oh, hippie. I did a hippie last year. And I was so proud of myself because I was like 190 something pounds and I thought I was rocking it and I thought I was so tiny. And now I look at the pictures of last year and I'm like, uh, no, 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 I wasn't. No, yeah, last year was that one. The one before it, I was a hippie too. I was a hippie two, two years in a row. I was a fairy type hippie last year and a hippie hippie the year before. Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll post those pictures on Halloween late one year. Like, I have several. I have a year when I was a witch, really big. I don't really have too many body pictures. If you see me use the same body pictures, it's because I hid in the cameras. Um, my biggest I do not have a picture of because they were of events where an ex was in the pictures and they refused to ever let me have copies of them even though I paid for them. Um, so, yeah. Don't have those. They were my biggest. Um, I hid from that camera every time. My mom might have a few, but we can't even get to the section and look for them. But I have a handful, and that is it. I mean, don't y'all you, you let people take pictures of y'all? I didn't. I hid. I was usually the one taking the pictures, so I didn't ever have to be in them. I was in charge of them. So yesterday, what y'all didn't see me eat was some more of the nacho wisp. The little, it's perfectly keto. I went ahead and ate some of that. You also didn't see me eat um, a serving, well, less than a serving of the enlightened ice cream, the glazed donut, because I was upset about my blood sugar going up, and I was like, what on earth? And enlightened does not make my blood sugar go up. I have tried it over and over again, um, but I am kicked, so I probably shouldn't have had it, right? Because I'm already kicked. Why have it? But my brain was saying, well, you're already kicked. You might as well have the stupid keto ice cream. Um, I also had four weans yesterday, too, that I forgot to record from Zaxby's. And that's what I'm having for dinner tonight, Zaxby's. Um, I had six pieces of bacon this morning that I forgot to record once again. I'm getting really bad in the morning. I'm half asleep when I'm doing it. So, so far today, I've had a half a scoop of collagen and six pieces of bacon and it is 10 a.m. and I'm about to head to the store. I gotta pick up some stuff for my parents. Uh, what else? That's all I ate yesterday that y'all didn't see because I ended up doing it after I finished the recordings. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to work my butt off. Maybe those carb crackers are still in my body from a week ago. Maybe I haven't burned them off yet and that's why I can't get back in ketosis. I don't know. I'm trying to at least get steps into 10,000 a day even though I can't get a workout in. Um, and yeah, I am still really upset and really stressed. I shouldn't be. I should just be proud of myself for helping that baby kitten. But I don't know. It's really affected me and I'm still having nightmares about it dying. So... I'm very sensitive. <laughs> I don't mean to be, but I am. And things affect me for a long time, even if I try not to let it. So, yeah, my ears are starting to itch, and these are supposed to be nickel-free. I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave the house in them. Okay, so I'm allergic to pressure as well. 
So when I stick earrings in, I have to be really careful and not put pressure against my skin because it will inflame, it will turn red, it will have horrible, horrible itching, like beyond belief. My whole body is that way um, because this girl's got some weird, weird allergies. I have cold acuria. Like I'm allergic to the cold, plus I have the thing, um, the radon syndrome, so it, my hands and feet, when my feet will feel like they're on fire if their cold water gets on them. It feels like someone has caught them on fire. Um, if I touch ice, I always carry little cozies for my drinks because if I touch actual ice with my hand, not my mouth, with my hands, this is a weird syndrome, um, it will give me that brain freeze that you get from um, drinking icy real fast. Touching it with my hands will give me a brain freeze and cause the worst pain in a billion years in my hands. Um, and my feet are the same way. So it is the weirdest syndrome in the world. It is very rare and I've had it since I was a kid and it is very painful. If I go out in the cold and I forget to wear my jacket, I get covered in hives head to toe. Um, it's also why I have a jacket on right now because it's in the 50s inside the house right now. I know, I need to turn my heater on, but I'm trying to save money. So um, if the cold actually hits me, it's why I can't go in cold water either, I will get hives all over and start coughing and having trouble to breathe because I'm allergic to the cold. But I can have cold ice and I can have ice cream inside my mouth. But if it touches my body, it's a whole nother story. Weird, right? It's the same thing as I get tested for food allergies. The blood work says it's fine. The skin will say it's fine. Once it gets inside my actual body, in my stomach, I can have a allergic reaction. Um, I've had multiple allergists since I was a kid and they, they say it's a very rare condition, but it can happen that some people's blood, skin, and actual body on the inside do not match each other, and they have different reactions to stuff. Uh-huh, yeah, that's, that's me. I'm the one with the weird stuff. I have weird allergies, weird sensitivities, weird diseases that barely anyone has. It has. Um, the whole cold thing was kind of weird, though, because I'm not the only one that lived on base that had it. It's a very rare condition and a few of us got it. Um, and everyone who lives in those base houses all have fibromyalgia. And their children are being dosed with it, like diagnosed with it. Um, yeah, a lot of us ended up with the same exact diseases. And then after we moved out, they tore those places down. They don't exist anymore. They actually started paying people and moving them to other places just as they could tear it down. No one lived in there after any of us left. It all got tore down. They also removed asbestos from the house while we lived in the house. And it was covered in lead paint and they had put too much poison in the soul and all us kids had played in it. All the parents had dug and planted flowers and vegetables in it. And then we find out don't touch the soul years, years later because it was so poison and toxic. Well, we already lived there seven years doing it. Yeah, space houses can poison you. But it's not like you can do anything about it because you were you, the military owns you and you can't sue the military for poisoning you, right? I'm not saying they poisoned us because I don't want anyone coming after me, but just saying. So, I, I am all over the place today, but welcome to my life. This is how it is. You're going to hear my stories, my what I've eaten, what I buy from the store, what I'm wearing, my hair. You're just going to hear it all because you're going to see my personality. It is more than just a keto channel. When I first came up with the name two or three years ago. I mean, my first video hit it, never pointed that video out, it is horrible. Um, I did put clips last week in one of the videos, I just don't remember which one. Um, made the name then, because I thought it was just about, you know, losing weight, that's all, you know, it's just about what you eat, nothing else. But over the time of losing weight, I realized no, no, it's about your sleep, your happiness, your stress level. See, stress level has kicked me, kicked me. 
because this girl is eating meat, is eating some cheese, and no, it's not my premier protein shake because we all know I've been drinking them for like a month now, every day, and been high or mod ketosis. They have not kicked me, not messed with me at all. I was very happy to find something I could add in. I do not have a circulose issue. I do not drink these right now, but I can have any of these and still normally stay in ketosis and not have high blood sugar. I mean, I think my blood sugar has gone to 106 in the first 15 minutes of drinking that kind of stuff and then it drops back down, but that's completely normal. Um, so yeah. Also, I did try the Skyline Chili the other day. Completely gross. I can't stand it. My daughter can't stand it. We're going to see if my mom and dad can stand it because they're $6 a can and I bought three that day. Ugh. People who rave about that, I don't know. It doesn't have whisker sheer in it, but to me, all I taste is whisker sheer. Like, that's all I taste. I don't taste anything else. It's really weird. And my daughter says all she tastes is tomato sauce. So, I don't know. My taste buds have changed since May when I get, got sick. Nothing tastes right to me anymore. So, I think I'm going to shut up and go do all these errands. i got to take the trash out. Got to go to try to supply and pick up some wheels for a cart. Um, Got to go to Aldi's because we need some cheese and I need some more pork chops. They don't always fill me up, but they do not make me sick when I buy them from Aldi's. And yesterday after eating the two hammer patties with cheese on it, I had the worst heartburn in the world. I usually only do one hammer patty. And I haven't been doing cheese, so it could have been the cheese fault. But I was so sick. So sick. Um, and then my blood sugar went up during that episode. So, yeah. I got to figure this out and get it under control. But that's why I'm not getting on the scale. And I will continue to do this. I was going to not because I don't have that many strips left. But I need to see how long it takes me to get back in ketosis. But, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm not going to weigh. We're not going to do a weigh-in until next week because the skull is upsetting me and I don't want it to, right? I don't want it to have control of my life. It's just water. It's just numbers on scale. And until I can get back into working out and I'm taking the ibuprofen, we know the water isn't going to come off because it doesn't come off any other way. I'm also out of, finally out of my, literally, I just used the last drop last night and I need to throw the container away. And I'm not reordering it until next month. So, we're going to see if even having a little bit of that has been stalling me. Um, it doesn't kick me, though. I have been using that all summer long, and I have never once been kicked. But I noticed my weight has gone slower the more I use it. Like, last month I lost a pound. This month I lost two pounds. Um, and I've been using that religiously for the last two months. So, we're about to see, right? No more ice at night. I'm shutting up because I'm going to keep rattling. Look how long I've already rattled. 22 minutes and didn't even realize it. I'll show you what I eat today. And yes, I am having a pro teen shake, the strawberry one or vanilla. Probably around one, but I'll film it for you. If I remember, I'm really forgetful. See, when I'm not in ketosis, the forgetfulness is crazy. Okay, it's 4 o'clock. I am having 8, no, 7 leftover weans from yesterday and a Americano with my collagen and stuff from... <laughs> Uh, Starbucks.